All right. I'm gonna start off by saying Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Call Halal Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Yahawa is the name of the Heavenly Father, according to the Paleo Hebrew, and Yahawa Shai is the name of our Lord, His Son, according to the Paleo Hebrew. Uh, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. The, uh, the learned men, the elders, are in whom we learned this truth. Uh, Shalom to the Akin who teaches truth and sincerity. Baharakakudash, meaning in the Holy Spirit. And Shalom to the Akwatim who serve their husbands and believe on Yahweh by Hashim Shai. Okay. Um, we're going to start off in the book of... Uh, we we'll start off in the book of Isaiah. And as you see, um, Lord willing, this audio is queuing up with the, uh, the image that's on the screen and that you can hear me clearly, okay? Because I'm doing it uh, differently, all right? I have this image queued up on the screen uh, so that you can see a, 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 a portrayal of uh, basically what's to come or, or the times that we're living in because similar in that picture it goes back into the book of Daniel the third chapter when uh, Meshach, Shadrach and Abednego when they didn't uh, conform to the image of Nebuchadnezzar all right and similar in this time we're not conforming to the image of the beast all right we're not gonna uh, take the, uh, the jab okay so if we go to the book of Isaiah the 59th chapter and the 19th verse and it says so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him and the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. So we gotta have full understanding that we're coming into a time that we're gonna need miracles, right? So it says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, which the enemy was going into Esau, Edom, the wicked, the Lord is gonna set up a standard. And that word standard, uh, if you go into the blue letter and look up that word standard, it is, uh, I believe it's a Hebrew word. Now I have it uh, written down, but just look it up, do your research. You're not supposed to just take every word that I say, but look up that word standard. And I believe it's a Hebrew word. And that word going into, uh, uh, to put to flight, to fly, uh, to disappear, all right? We know that some type of miracle is gonna happen when Yahweh Bashim Yahushai sees the enemy about to roll out on his elect okay the elect men that he ordained to be saved okay so i'm gonna read it over for edification's sake isaiah 59 and 19 so shall they fear the name of the lord from the west and that lord is in all capitals and we know that the heavenly father's name will be there so that so shall they fear the name of yahweh and we know that lord yahweh shai is going to get his glory when he comes back okay so, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So when Esau rolled out with his military, okay, or his police uh, state martial law, okay, we know that Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to lift up a standard, meaning he's going to perform miracles, okay? Verse 20, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression from uh, transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord. So transgression is sin, okay? Uh, transgression against the law, statutes, and commandments is sin, right? So we know that the elect men, uh, they have turned from their transgression against Yahweh Hashim Shai. And not only that, they repented, okay? They confess the name of Lord Yahweh Shai, 
that he died and rose on the third day that he, he is the son of the heavenly father Yahweh okay and they have faith that the Lord is coming back to redeem us okay so let's go to the Apocrypha in the book of Ecclesiastes what's going on brother I'm oh, good Book of Ecclesiastes, the second chapter, in the in the tenth verse, and it reads: It says, "Look at the generations of old, and see, did ever any trust in the Lord, and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear, and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion, and mercy, long suffering." and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction woe be to the fearful hearts and the faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways woe unto him that is faint hearted for he believeth not therefore shall he not be defended so we know that the elect they're not going to be faint hearted okay they're not going to have faint hands okay we know that the Lord's come back to save them because of their faith, okay? And what is faith? You can get that in the book of Hebrews 11, verse 1. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And we got to have a, a clear-cut understanding. There's a spiritual realm all around us, okay? We have the angels guarding us, all right? And we know that pertaining to the book of Psalms. Let's see. Psalms, the 34th chapter. Psalms 34 and 7. It says, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Okay? So I'm about to read a very important story just as the image that I have queued up on the screen, okay? On the time of, uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. But we know that, that that was their names given to them by the eunuch in, ba in Babylon, okay? We know that their, uh, their true names, I'm gonna try to get it and be on point, all right? I believe it's, uh, Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, all right? And I, I, I'm going to look that up. I'm, I'm about to look it up right now, okay? Because we want to be on point. But I know that the unique names was uh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, okay? So let's look it up in the book of Daniel, the third chapter. I believe it's the second chapter to get the names. But the third chapter is the story that I'm going to read. And Lord willing, it be edifying unto the elect, okay? So I'm going to find their names real quick of our forefathers, okay? And we know that Daniel was also uh, accompanied, accompanied by these forefathers, uh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. And Daniel's name was turned, uh, changed to uh, Belteshazzar, I believe, okay? So let's see, let's see. Yeah, Daniel's name was uh, in the 26th verse uh, of Daniel, the second chapter. Daniel's name was changed to Bel, Bel to Shajar, all right? So Daniel's 2 and 26 is Daniel's name being changed, okay? Now I'm trying to find... Uh, When they changed the names of uh, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, okay? Yeah. So our forefather's name was Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. And we know that their names, all right, and I got that from Daniel's, the first chapter, uh, in the 11th verse. That was their names, Daniel, uh, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. But we know that Daniel's name was changed to uh, Bela to Shajar. And the other forefather's name was changed to uh, 
Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. All right, so let's read in the book of Daniel, the third chapter. And we're going to start. I'm going to start at the first verse and we're going to go all the way down to the point. And Lord willing, this be edifying unto the elect. Remember in Ecclesiasticus or Sirach in the Apocrypha, chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, look at the generations of old. And, uh, I have it queued up. It says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Uh, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And we're about to read that right now. And we also, in, in the same breath, we're about to read how uh, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about, about, about them that fear him. Okay? Uh, Psalms 34 and 7. So this all ties together. Okay? So, Daniel's the third chapter, first verse. It says, Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an, made an image of gold, whose height was three score cubits, and the bread is thereof uh, six cubits. He set it up in the plain of, of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king set together set to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, and the, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers. Come and to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king has set up. Alright, so Nebuchadnezzar set up a golden image, I believe of himself, in the in the province of Babylon. Uh, it said Dura, okay? And that all those people that we just listed, okay, basically everyone will have to bow to the image, alright? Similar to this time, okay? It says verse 3. It says, then the princes the governors and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the province were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then an herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages that to what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, sultry, dolchimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar, king, the king, have set up. So similar to this image that I have on screen. Everyone, it said nations and languages.